Is there sound? There we go. I don't know how low, how low that is. Uh, I've never played this game, ever. Like, ever in my life. Uh, I've watched Gary Faceman play it. Looks pretty good. I'll probably be really bad at it, though. Um, how is the uh, audio there? I can't really hear it. Is this volume good? I should put blind. Blind! Well, I don't want it to overpower my mouth. My mouth sounds. <clears throat> I think we're good to go, though. I'll rise. Episode 1, the first turnabout. I better get my stylus out. Are you gonna- is there a lot of stylus usage in this game? Where is the stylus? <gasps> what the F? I thought that was a bone. Damn it! Why me? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I can't get caught. Not like this! It's a man. I've got to find someone to pin this on! Someone like... him. Whoa. I'll make it look like he did it. This entire game was made for the GBA first. Oh, right. Okay. August 3rd, 947 AM. I forgot to zip up my fly. All right. Where's my zipper? <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Defendant lobby number two. Boy, am I nervous. That's a girl? I don't do girl voices. <laughs> That's blood! Ah, uh, blood! Blood! Right! I'll just do a man voice for this woman. Oh. Oh! Hiya, Chief! This game is rated M in some iterations, really. Phew, I'm glad I made it in time! <laughs> I wish I could do a woman voice. I'm just not gonna read that. Not everyone- actually, I'll just read it in my normal voice. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Um, thanks! I kinda wanna give him, like, a Goku voice. Cause it seems like it with the way he's talking. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Yes. Actually, I kinda owe him my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. What did, uh... What did Elegy do for the voice? Of, uh... Phoenix Wright. Well, that's news to me. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so, Vendetta. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! <laughs> I don't know if that's... My life! Everything! It's all over! Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death! Despair! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my god, look at those eyes. <laughs> Boobles are not real. We can't let the kids see. No, we can't. Who butts? Nick. Wait, who's Nick? Oh, is Phoenix Nick? Hey, Larry, what's going on? Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die. I'm gonna give him courage and not scared voice. What? What's wrong, Larry? <laughs> oh my god. LG just used his own voice? Oh, it's all over. I'm finished! Finished! I'm not peeking, am I? Please let me know if I'm peeking. Or, uh, what is it called? 
It's not peaking, right? It's cutting or whatever. I don't know. His name is Butts! Butts! <laughs> I can't live in a world without her! I can't! Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Ah, uh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was... You. <laughs> that was like a soliloquy. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. The first case is very simple. What? A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh my god. <laughs> in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, is usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Wrong place, the wrong time. Slight cutting? Really? Uh, uh, uh. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. That's just what I'm going to do. I will free the butts. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. It's, his name's probably Butts. Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um... Defense is ready, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Wright. It's still cutting? What do you mean? When is it? When is it? It shouldn't be. Because, la, la. Even when I yell like that, it's not even, it's not even peaking on OBS. It's butts, god dang it. I think what's going on is when the gate... Wait. What I meant was peaking. Like, um... Distortion? I can't remember the actual name... ...of it. Uh, but like, is the audio cutting out? Hopefully not. No distortion. But what what do you mean by cutting then? Don't put butts in the slammer. Damn straight, son. I don't want to continue if my audio is being stupid. This is your first trial, is it not? First trial? Yes, Your Honor. I'm... a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial would decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control the nerves. Thank... thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances... I think we should have a test to ascertain... Oh, what the frig? It's okay now, but I'll... <clears throat> I'll see if I can explain it. Um, okay. I think we should have a test to ascertain- Is that ascertain? Is that what that word is? Your readiness? Yes, your honor. Yeah. <laughs> Hand shaking, knees weak, arm spaghetti. Eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Oh, Jesus. Uh, is that the defendant? The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. <laughs> Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Assert, ascertain? 
I don't think so. Well, <clears throat> if 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 one person's having audio issues, I'd still like to know what it is. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Woo! Whew. Whew. I knew this one. Or know this one. I'm glad I read the case report covers to cover it so many times. It's wait. Uh uh oh. <laughs> no. No way! I forgot! I've drawn a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Uh, of course I know the victim's name. Uh I just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Oh, this is like a tutorial. Just touch the court record button at any time, okay? Ass. Er. Tain. <laughs> like that. Ass. Er. Tain. Don't remember. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Okay. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? I bet you it's Cinderblock. Cindy. Wait. Uh, what? Cindy's. Right? Yeah, this, no, I'm being honest during the break. It may have been a noise gate issue. I don't have a noise gate for the audio in the break. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Yes, correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object, right? I'm just gonna YOLO it. She was struck once by a blunt object. Yes, correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You should mean... I'll have to go back and look at the VOD. I'll see what it is. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Actually, I... I don't know. We'll see. Good for you. Yeah, I already said that. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then, first, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepted, accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Touch the court record button to check the court record frequently, okay? Whoa. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call his first witness. The prosecution calls defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Oh, that's me. Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. That's really bad. I never pay attention. Ever. <laughs> yeah, relax, man. Oh, I can guarantee that he will say unfortunate things. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Okay. This game has a lot of times where it doesn't have any music. I don't like that. Ahem. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it true? Is it not true that the victim had re recently dumped you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not... That's gonna be bad. Hey, watch it, buddy. Holy F. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She, she just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. Wasn't it... What's it to you anyway? The emotions. 
Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Uh... When I recommended this, I didn't realize that I have autopilot syndrome. <laughs> uh, passport has been added to the court record. Okay. Can I look at it? No, they're just talking. Hmm. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way! Oh, that wasn't... I oh, should have had... quieter. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Right on. Daddies? Sugar? <laughs> yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Objection? That's not an objection. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oh, what does wince mean? Right on. <laughs> if she had several, it would be more like Splenda Daddies. If I wasn't in the middle of this, I would walk away. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheatin' cheat, that cheatin' she dog. I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna drop dead! He is very, very emotional. Whoops, okay, I didn't... And I'm going to get to the bottom of this. What the... Okay. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. It means he flinched? Okay. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not so good look- This is not so- This is- No, not looking good! English. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Uh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Whoa. Uh-oh. He went. What do I do? <clears throat> Like, I don't know. <laughs> Should I have a answer, honestly? <laughs> That's a tough question. That is really tough. Um, I'm just... Oh. This is too hard. Oh, man. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'll send him a signal. <clears throat> Lie like a dog. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, well, we'll see. It's like this. I don't remember. You don't remember? Well then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the apartment that day. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. What is life? What is life even? Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. <laughs> On the, on the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit. Sawit? To the stand. Oh, look at this guy. Look at him, he's looking. Yeah. 
Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Whoa, <laughs> that's real. <clears throat> I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man flee in the apartment. I thought he might must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. Saw it? Okay. A woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? What? I told you to... I told him not to. I can't defend you against a testimony like that! Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saw it saw used was in... Oh, frig. One of those. Frig. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, or yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Oh, God. Cross-examination, Your Honor. <laughs> He's a rook. All right, Wright. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then once you've found the contradicting evidence... Present it and rub it in the witness's face! Um, okay. <laughs> Touch the court record button and point out the contradictions to the testimony. Um, I was going door-to-door -door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. What? I don't quite understand. What does press? What does press mean? What does present? Press? Hold it. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? Yes. I find it odd you would not you would take notice of him. Er... Huh. I don't know. He just seems strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't really... I mean, that's, that's a good thing, but I'll probably... I don't know. It probably won't help. Just like a criminal see, fleeing the scene of a crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course. Oh, press means get more info. Present is the evidence? Okay, right then. Of course, what the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. What are those... What are those exc exclamation points? Wait, can I go back? I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. Oh, cool. Okay. So I can present. Uh, it was 1 a.m. 
or 1 p.m. Oh, damn. That makes this really hard. Okay, so there's nothing that I can present based on that, is there? I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. So if I use press, I can do that as much as I want. Because, <clears throat> like, hold it. Oh, how many tries you get. Oh, so like if you fail. Sorry, I had to move my taskbar. Half open, you say? Yes, yes. The press is free, at least usually. The door was open halfway, yes. I watched for a moment, but no one came close to the came to close the door. He said that What? That's odd. In a big city like this, I thought. I see, and what happened next? Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Isn't it only human to want to? Peak? <clears throat> we climb mountains because they are there. It's the same thing. Truer words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. Hmm, why did pain cut him off so quickly? So you looked into the apartment. What happened then? Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving. Dead. How did you know she was dead? Are you sure she was dead? Well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. He said he went inside to use the phone. Um, yes, I mean, uh, no, nothing. See? The phone! He tried to use the phone! He tried to use the phone! I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I thought to call the police immediately. That is so... the holes. You thought to call the police. Does that mean you didn't actually call them? Please, please, listen to the rest of the testimony. You thought to call the police. What happened next? However, the phone in her apartment... He didn't go in the apartment, you liar. The phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no. No, it wasn't, right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment, or did you? Oh, oh, that? I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? He went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Hold it. <clears throat> Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. And being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartments. Ah, right. What time did you call again? I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m., but that's... Isn't that when you went into the apartment? Surely it would have taken longer. 1 p.m.? Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Doesn't that sound seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Objection! Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. 
there was nobody to, or er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, uh. Oh, what the F? <laughs> I knew his voice was like that. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. Yeah, don't backseat lawyer. <laughs> After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Saw it. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> Great job, Wright. Way to put him on the spot. Oh, no, that was not the kind of way I was supposed to say it. That sounded like it was, yeah. That's all you have to do, point out contradictions. Lies always... What the F is that word? Always beget more lies? <laughs> that sounds stupid. What is that word? Somebody tell me. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Whoa. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Burp. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? Beget? Lead to more? Okay. I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. This was the Turnabout Saga in Japan? Get my vocabulary together? Okay, fine. Oh, it's all about con contradictions. Okay. I don't use big words that I don't need. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the tape program. <laughs> okay, okay. I would never have thought of that, Mana. I totally forgot about the uh, electricity outage. No, don't spoil. Don't, don't backseat, please. That one actually affects me right now. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I need to read more books? Yeah, I listen to books. Right, you know what to do. I've got this one. Oh, that was not her. Time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. Hold it. <clears throat> hey, Alex, what's going on? You said heard, not saw. Yes, heard. All I saw was the body lying there. I didn't think to look at anything else, at least of all my watch. Hmm, isn't that a little strange? <laughs> he said nothing about electricity. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Hey, hey, that does not mean that Tungle will be horrible at this. Yes, it does. Hold it! That's not, he doesn't do that. He goes like this whenever he says hold it, right? But that is objection, right? OBJECTION! OBJECTION! But if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. OBJECTION! <laughs> OBJECTION! Let, let him make his terrible mistakes, yeah. <laughs> the witness did say the, he actually heard the time. It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't hear anything. Hmm, I have to agree with the prosecution. Witness, continue your testimony. It's bull. Can I present the evidence right now? Yeah, that's bull. Where's the outage? Objection! Objection! Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Gah! I will... Erk. <laughs> the defense has a point. The voice. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Saw it? No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Wait! I remember now. Mr. Saw it. The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. Yeah, he does. 
My apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Hearing the time. I mean, it could have been a battery-powered something. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to kill- to hit the victim. No, he didn't. That must have been what I saw. No! It's the thinker. Is the thinker a clock? You saw the clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Gladly! Uh... It's so obvious. It's not a- it doesn't say anything about being a clock, right? It's just a- I'm just gonna YOLO it. Objection! Objection! Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure how I follow. It clearly, uh, contradicts the, um, I thought. What? <laughs> the judge's letters. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 that's right. What? So what does that mean? I don't think that won me any points with the judge. I saw it, but... Hold it! Hold it! That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry. I only just remembered that table clock. A table clock? What? Hey, zombie, what's going on, man? Table clock? Wasn't... Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, the the exclamation point. But... I forget what I said. Hold it. The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle? Oh, he's using words. Something's fishy here. That must have been what I saw. What, can I present this then? Now? Objection! Wait just a moment! The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Ah! You with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw It. Hey, I... I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Liar. Liar! I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. What? Well, Mr. Wright... It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. Heh, <laughs> dramatic. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Yeah? Prove it. <laughs> yes. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly, a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> the witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment. You're lying! That's not what I said. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! Oh yeah, prove it! Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that, I can prove you were the way you killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. Ayo! Ayo! That was the sound you heard. The jury's muttering to itself. Order in the court! Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. 
Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. I need it! What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. You're baseless conjecture. 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 Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> He's muttering pointless things. Would you, would the witness care to elaborate? That's not his voice. Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw. Uh. What? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. <laughs> it, it was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn. Burn! Give him death! Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. I just had my first witness breakdown. <laughs> Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw had heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Ask the neighbors. I don't know, the third one? Let's sound the clock now, here, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Witnesses brown plant pantaloons. <laughs> shit, shit stain. Beep. I think it's 825. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. <laughs> well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Son of what's going on, Showtime? Mr. Payne... Oh, wait, that's him. Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. You're starting this while I'm gone? Oh, this is just the tutorial. It's 11.25. Ah! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the, the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw it heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Saw it, try to talk your way out of this one. So far, I've only gongled once. I can't... When... When did I gongle? I can't remember. Ha! 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 You forgot one thing! Uh-oh. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? That's true. If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Uh. He's right. How am I supposed to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Uh. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Is that... Is that indict? I don't know what that word is. You tried presenting evidence on a wrong... St oh, right. Okay, yeah. That's right. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Ugh, I almost had him. To see me slick my hair back? Never. <laughs> That's never happening. <laughs> Sorry, man. I do not do that. I have a big forehead, so... I don't want to show it. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Saw it. I, they tried that in Marvel vs. Capcom? Indict? Yeah. That's... Yeah, I knew what it, that meant. Yeah. Did I fail? We'll see. I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think! But, Chief, it's over! 
I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. But don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right. Right? <laughs> what the? Ugh, oh, that's weird, Sam. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yeah? Wait! Maybe I can prove it! You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright? You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. That would be super weird to play as him. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course! There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. I don't know. The autopsy. I already used that. Well, oh, she was in Paris. I don't know. Would she have brought the thinker to Paris? How would it be three hours slow if it's Paris? Because that's the only thing I have. YOLO. Take that! Take that! The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. Duh. I should have known that. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw it, or should I say, Mr. Did it? Oh! <sighs> He just... Rabies. Rabies. That's all I can say. Order! Order, I say! Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all sus expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? <laughs> he, er, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? <laughs> yeah, hey... <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. I have to say I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts... Not guilty! Hooray, yay. And with that, this court is adjourned. Thank you. Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check what and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw it let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw it grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right, good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. You told me what to do. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've, I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. Are they gonna date? You know? Are they going to... chill? If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> what? Did I buy this game? I got it off the eShop. My life is over! <laughs> Larry, you're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Don't. Good, wait, no, 
Wait, I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, well, my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was... Never mind. Larry, she was a whore. She was a gold digger. Congratulations, Harry. Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Just put it on the friggin' uh, whore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait, isn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You... you made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And... and she was just playing me for a fool? Doesn't that make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? <laughs> I think she, I think she saw quite a lot of you in her own way. She kept the clock. Ah, uh, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Right. What the heck is she talking about? Um... What the F am I doing? I don't know what... Like, is this... So I was watching Gary play this, and this was one of the parts that I saw. I just said it? Is it the thinker? Are these... Okay, so Godot said in his chat that these scenes, you have to pick the right one, or you don't get anything, like, you don't see what happens. Is that is that one of these scenes? Because... I don't want to be a dummy and not see them. She kept the thinker. Is that it? YOLO. Take that! What? Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. This is optional, but I kind of want to see them all. Eighty-five hours for sin. Oh my! What is that, Rex? <laughs> Nine IB. Oh, that sucks. And she took it when she traveled. Whatever. She's probably just needed a clock. That's all. You think so? That's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Oh, I'm gonna join on this hunt. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. <laughs> really? I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of the evidence now. Of evidence. Also, hope you hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. Showtime is now a hero. Right on, brother. Right on. Oh, I got some notifications on Twitter. Uh, thank you, dude, for tweeting me out. And then Sour Nurse again. I really appreciate that. I re really do. And then... Th Sa oh, my God. People, too. 
We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. Well, that, yeah, well, that. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. You didn't want to false advertise. Right, I guess. Yes! Yes! Wow, who didn't win? Rex. Rex didn't win. No, Vendono didn't win either. Rigged! <laughs> oh, because... Yeah, three moderators won. Oh, Sour Nurse didn't win either. <laughs> so, say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast. A toast. Don't drink toast. To innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Er, uh, yeah, part at least. And Sour Nurse. Or did Sour Nurse win? No. You haven't won the last three times. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave Mia. You follow followed me on Twitter? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed what you lurked. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. What? And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. She wants the D. The end. A brand new episode has been added. Save? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that. So, oh, look at that. That's cool looking. Uh, I have to actually end the stream. I cannot go any longer. Foreshadowing? Yeah. I like this game so far. I really like it. I didn't think I would like this type of game. But it's it's fun pretty far. Pretty so far. Thank you all for joining. Um, I'm just going to host somebody again. Uh, Kamikaze there is a follow friend. Thank you. I'm just going to host somebody, though. I'll probably be playing this again tomorrow. Yeah, it is a good place to end. Why would I follow you? Why not, man? I like I like Twitter. Uh, Samsonite is playing piano. I'm going to host Lodi, I think. So if you guys want to come in and say hello... Please do. I'll be in there chatting. And I will see you next time. Tomorrow. Probably same time. Maybe a bit later. I'm going to a hockey game tonight. So. I don't know yet. I'll say on Twitter. If I end up going later. Uh, <clears throat> episode 2 will take the entire day. Damn. Alright well. Goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow. Gongol out.